Um, I did remember to start recording. So. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just put that little line around my outside edge here to help me remember not to compose all the way um, to the edge. So that little line represents where the, um, the mat would come. About. So I draw that line, but then after I start my color, I'm going to go ahead and um, yeah, you can't really see my line, but I'm not going to change my um, yeah, I'm not going to change my camera for that. But um, so, but once I start my color, I'm going to cover up this little line. I'm going to go ahead and go to the edge. This is just to help me be sure that I. Um, don't compose clear to the edge. So I only compose to the part of the surface that will show when it's framed. Um, so I always, I, I always um, plan for my work to be framed. Oops. Even though um, it, it might not actually be framed, I, I plan for that. I try to, I say always, always is very, that's a very qualified statement. Okay, so then, um, I don't know, so maybe that, sort of biggest mountain range comes down here, that big tree is sort of in here. And um, the whole ridge of trees comes there and this comes there. And then um, maybe these need to be a little lower. They do. Um, another thing, I don't know how recently I've talked about this, but at least not since last year, um, is that when I redraw, usually I redraw and then I erase what is wrong. Um, so I don't just um, erase and then redraw. In this case, you can't really, wow, I'm so far from my painting. I don't know what to do. Let's see, can I move a little tiny bit? Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I redraw, I, 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 I draw it. I don't I hardly worry about doing things wrong because um, it just almost almost anything you do is better than what you had before, which was nothing. So I don't worry too much about um, making mistakes. The problem with mistakes is just not noticing that you made a mistake. So um, that's the key thing is to get better at, at knowing when you have made a mistake. Oh, and seeing like that, I just made it too big. So what I do is I don't just, I mean, I can't really erase on this paper anyway, but um, so because I can still see this, it helps me to know that I've changed it. But some things you work on, you can totally erase them and you can't even like oil painting, you know, like if you take an eye out or something um, out of your picture, then when you go to draw it back in, there's such a high chance that you'll put it in the same place. So that's why it's better to be sure you can see um, what what you what you did draw before you erase it before you correct it and then erase what's wrong. Sometimes I mean I know on this paper sometimes it can just get really confusing because it's hard to get rid of stuff. Um, okay, and then like this big shadow that comes down. Um, again, what I would do is actually if you're working on like white paper or really light colored paper, you wouldn't want to do this, but like paper like this, I can do this. I can put in those shadows. Um, so now that makes me wonder, maybe I didn't have the, um, that's gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna put that in, but that might help me I thought, to know like where my mountains really go. Because this, this one, that little tree on the very edge there is taller than the mountain. And then, um, and then the next tree over is lower than the mountain. So it is, I think, so hard to draw mountains. Um, and if, like, one time, something, one time I was doing this um, really big scene, and I would, felt like I was so lucky because there was a fence along here. And it was completely regular, right? It was equally spaced. 
So when I got, yeah, see, that's not right. Um, when I had the fence in, I could use the fence posts to help me figure out like where my mountains went. Because I think, I think we just tend to see them too big. You know, we know they're big, and so we see them really big. And um, it's like, I don't know how many times I've had this happen, but a lot, where um, I, 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 I'm going along and I'm trying really hard to make it all just in the right place, but my mountains end up way, like way bigger, like they would go way off the page somewhere because I just got them all too big. So I think that just is back to that kind of problem of um, this camera. So, so this is up there on that same road. I think I did one um, from there before. It's um, Jensen Road, I think. It's just up on the way to the airport in Barrie or Berlin. All right, so the other thing I could do is, um, if I hadn't put everything, let me just grab a paintbrush. I haven't at all hardly talked about measuring because it's just kind of hard to do it here. Um, but what I could do, and because you can't see what I'm doing on the picture, but if I say, okay, how big is my barn? So it's from here to the edge of my paper, that's how big it is. And then I'll go one, what well, one, two. So I've got mine about two and a half, but if I check on my photograph, which you can't see me doing, it's one, it's not even two. So yeah, I made the barn really too small. So let's just see if I can get that better. So I think it would come over more like that. So if you want to get better at drawing, that's the way to do it. You draw, you measure, and then you redraw. So if I, and that helps you improve your eye. So let's just, let me just check that now. So that's still not big enough. I don't care, I'm not making it any bigger. Let me just double check one more time. One, two. Good night. I can't bear to make it bigger. How far over is it? I see one. That's really close to halfway. Well, you know, when you make changes, when you just decide to arbitrarily make changes, um, bad things can happen. But now I keep wondering, like there seems like there's this weird thing that goes on that the computer, even though I've measured it and I've tried to do my paper in the exact proportion, um, that it's just not, it's not the same on the screen, but I don't know, that's just a pathetic excuse. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm gonna, I can't deal with it any bigger than that, so. All right, so I thought, um, now I haven't been doing this much lately because, but I just thought I would do it like, um, if you think of pastels for me, the way I use my pastels, it's much more like um, painting than drawing. And so um, in painting, you're looking at um, large areas of things and um, in drawing, you're looking at outlines. So it can help me um, to get my proportions to put in um, these shapes to actually fill in the shapes of the darks. Um, the problem is, of course, with this paper, if you do that, um, sometimes it's very hard to get rid of them if they're not going really right. Okay, and so then I'm gonna have this little light here. It's gonna come out past the barn. There's a little dark snow right along here. Um, and then I'm gonna have it come down here, that light. And I'm not gonna do that tiny light that's right in there. I'm just gonna leave that. All right, so, um, and the sky has got this really cool pink stuff going on. Okay, so like normally I say I start with the sky, but in this case, I'm gonna start with, um, I'm gonna start with the snow. Um, it's a big problem here with snow. Um, well, well, the great thing about snow is you can really see, you know, the effect of the light because white, anytime you're painting something that has white in it, you can really see the effect of the light um, on the white thing. So like, if you're trying to figure out what kind of white it is, then look at the white thing. And um, I don't really wanna use yellow because of the yellow snow problem. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start with pink. Good, Good. Yeah. Good. 
can you say what why are you starting with the with the snow versus the sky? Oh, sorry, right. I forgot to finish that sentence. Uh oh, what happened here? Just a second. Um, oh God, if I touch something. Something terrible happened if I touch anything. I think I need to lower my camera a little. Um, I'm sorry, I just because the pink, the snow is the lightest thing. So normally the sky is the lightest thing, but in this case, the snow is the lightest thing. Okay, so I think that's better again. Whoops. Um, so I just want to start with the snow because if you look from the snow to the sky, you can see it is the sky. The snow is lighter. Oh my gosh, this is all driving me nutty. But it's okay. okay. And then there's this little piece right over here. Um, and so the snow is so blue in the shadow because it's reflecting um, up from the top, up at the zenith of the sky. Um, okay, so I do want to use pink in my sky which means that I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use a darker pink because I don't wanna use the exact same pink I used in my snow. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. And I'm, I'm trying to describe, obviously all the time, I'm trying to describe to you what I'm thinking. But um, the truth is when I'm painting, I don't think very much. Um, the best time to think is when in between like times that you work on your painting. So um, the best, kind of job I ever did with that was in Italy. Well, it's pretty good right here too, because I walk by the door to my studio all the time so I can look in and see what I'm working on. Um, but to have it just sort of sitting around and then every time you walk by, you think about it. And so the best time to think about painting is when you're not painting. <laughs> and um, it might even, I'm gonna share some stuff with you from Morgan later. Um, with her permission, of course. And um, you might even try to do this. Like when I, I just learned so much from writing um, my, my little online book. Um, it, um, I just, it, it did more for me than probably for anybody else. And so that made it totally worth it. Um, because when I would sit and look at my paintings and I took slides of them or photographs of them in progress. And when I sat and looked at those and started thinking about what I was doing, then I just learned so much about what I was actually doing when I was painting. Um, so, you know, you might even wanna like make some lists or something. Oh, what will we call that mega cognition? thinking about thinking. Alrighty, so. Janine, this, you may not be able to do this. It may um, be too complicated midstream, <clears throat> but we're kind of zoomed in on your painting. Are you aware of that? No, I don't know what you see. I just we, you saw. Okay, so it's just, it's slightly cropped. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can zoom out or not easily. Is that? Yeah, like that's that? better. Thank you. Yeah, that was that's better. Thank you. Okay. I just kept trying to make it as. What else do you see in the background, though? What do you see on the rest of the screen? Do you see all my crap? No, we see gray oh, okay. above okay. and below, and then black right around the pictures. Okay, so this is better it's now. Great, it's that's great. Better for me Not too. Better. I don't understand. You know, I thought I'd move the camera, but this this is better. <laughs> yeah, we can. I think we can see the top and bottom now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those comments are super helpful because, yeah, you know, who knows what's going on? I mean, if I had another monitor, then I could see what you see, but I don't. So, oops, I'm just trying to unwrap this pastel. Um, okay, so I don't know. Also, the thing is, like, I don't know if this is going to be the right color. I'm just gonna put it down there and then and then I'll judge it. I'll judge it then after I've done it. Because um, so that's kind of that same thing. There's no point in thinking about it because doing it will really tell me if it's okay or not. So yeah, so it's not actually as bad as I thought. And I do think it's a little greener, but see, well, but nothing else is green, so I can do that. Um, if I was a little smarter, I would be going 
this way with my hand all the time instead of always going covering up what I'm doing. But anyway, that's just just one of those things. And then I kind of think I'm just going to go ahead and um, if I can find the white, I can't even find the white. Um, let's just see if that's white. Just come all the way up here and all the way up in value and just put the white on it. Um, now you might not want to do this if you know you're not planning to spray it, <clears throat> but um, for me, I know I'm going to spray it. So. And also, I should have done this too. I should have. Um, I decided earlier today that it would be a mistake to do the make the snow look like it had melted down. Maybe that it might be really hard, difficult to explain what was going on. So. It would have been smart to do the snow on the roof at the same time as the snow on the ground so I could get it to look the same. Okay, so I've got all my lights in. So now I'm going to try to put, I'm not going to try, I am going to put in my really dark darks everywhere. And, um, kill me. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying golly about my painting, it's golly about my easel won't like won't stand, won't stay steady. Um, okay, so yeah, so you know, a, a valid question would be why did you do that just then? <laughs> yeah, and I'd have to tell you, I don't even I just I just it crossed my mind that maybe it would be red, and so I just did it. But then of course I should have been like looking at the barn and back and forth. So the barn has got to be some sort of red too. Red is really a color that you have to use it right away because it's very hard to get anything else to go on top of it. So if you're going to use red, you have to use it now and then add your other colors on top of it. Um, and it's kind of dark down here too. Um, so, okay, so. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna take one second and put that little color. I need to make sure it looks like that it's hanging over. But, um, yeah, so my drawing is way off, especially because way over in that corner, I'm having a really hard time reaching it. Okay, so, um, and then the barn roof, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like darker up here, and then it's not quite so dark right below it. I don't know why. But also, I don't think very much about why. That's not an important question to me, is why does that look like that? Janine, is that the snow halfway down the roof on the hip? Um, uh, well, I don't know what's going on here. You mean back here? Yeah, the lower, the whiter, the lighter, maybe the hip of the barn. I don't know. I, I don't know either, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. Nope. Like eventually, I would start to worry. But you know, if I can have a worry-free moment, that is just amazing. So, so I'm not going to worry yet. And at some point, I might have to worry about that's. It's a really weirdo barn, and it's kind of ugly. So, um, and it's not sort of average, just like cobbed together and all. So I don't know. It might just be that um, you know I'll have to do something completely not right. All right. So this definitely. make it into trees. Into trees. Well, I could. I could make this part into trees, right? And just have the. Well, we'll yeah, see. that's what I would lean toward. I'll just wait and see, okay? Because I don't know yet. I don't want to be like, you know, I don't want to avoid stuff because I can't do it. <laughs> I am going to. No, but, no but even if you can do it, it's somewhat unreadable on the photo. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a good point. Okay, so those are those trees, which I kind of forgot to put the shadows in. So. This is a super soft pastel, so I'm, I don't know, it's unfortunately, I can't really, I mean, maybe I could have broken it off, but I'll see what I also could do, maybe, because I don't like that. So that is just, like not even going down on there. I can still hear it scratching, but the color I have in my hand, which is some sort of 
It looks gray, but it's really kind of some sort of purple. That's one problem with um, in the cheaper pastels, the grays are kind of, the purples are kind of gray. All right. Um, okay, so I didn't, I should have drawn. So there's enough difference in here. Like instead of averaging these mountains, I should have um, just drawn, I should have drawn in the shape. So I'm kind of doing that thing I don't really usually recommend of drawing in color. Uh, but that, by doing this, that's one thing that could help me kind of get, um, make these, you know, these mountains come forward more from the ones behind it. But man, this, see, this is the problem with drawing mistakes, I find. It's, it's not anything else but this. It's just that, so, okay, so you made some drawing mistakes and it's like, so what? Nobody knows. But then the problem is when you try to put things where they belong, you can't get things where they belong um, because it's not just spacing is not accurate. But maybe that doesn't matter. I don't know. And this, I just like totally picked up the wrong color. It's like I got tired of looking or something. And so I just, just grabbed something. I'll see if I can make that any better. Would have been better maybe if I'd started with this color and then come back with a lighter blue on top. But... Okay, and then um, the next, I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna do a skip to the far back. Well, maybe, no, maybe this would be okay for that. Wow, this looks, okay, don't look Janine. Okay, so here's that little something, and that needs more purple. No surprise there. And then the ones in the back. Oh, I'll just start with this. Yeah, and I, I just have a really hard time um, making the mountains really look just like they, like so that people that are from the area would recognize them, you know? Like, I don't know. I just think it's really, somehow it's difficult. I don't know what it would take, more like maybe using a grid or something to get them just right. Um, okay, so. So there's my lay-in. Um, another thing, like I kept trying to make this darker, 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 and I wasn't having kind of the success I wanted in that. But so sometimes really the thing to do is just come back and make the other thing lighter. So I'm gonna try that with lightening that up some. So it's not always what you think it is. It might be kind of the opposite of what you think it is. All right, goodbye. Bye, little barn. I think I could keep that So one thing my teacher used to always suggest was to put your painting somewhere that you would just sort of accidentally kind of walk by it um, so that you would kind of, it would surprise you just like as if you were someone else, <laughs> as if somebody else had come in your house, although I realized no one is ever going to come in your house again. But um, yeah, so they kind of come on it unawares and it surprises you and then you can see whatever um, uh, mistakes you made. So just actually now I'm just trying to correct my drawing, which is 
Okay, so, so I, um, yeah, so I got it. I have to stop, but um, I just want to do one more thing down in here. No, not yet. That wasn't good enough. So, and then I also know that there's people that, you know, I spray my stuff all the time and I really spray it because I have to, because things are just so far out of control that there's sort of no option. Um, because I do try to, um, oh, you can't, wow, that's amazing. Okay, wait, I just want to try one more thing. Um, that's a little more accurate. I can't really work on it when it's that dark. Um, but that's a little more accurate for what I did, the colors. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, Can you on. also back it out again the way you had it? Do what? That space. <clears throat> Let me knock it's, back it's, in close again. It so, creeps in. I'm not sure why. Well, I, I, might be, with... I might be hitting my... Uh, Here comes should... Grace with her damn goat again. <laughs> <laughs> you should come and paint with me. Uh, that would be nice. There's the painting. So we can see the, the bottom left. Right the mountains right either. I don't know if we can see the top right of the painting. There. Oh, that's better. Okay. Thank you. Sure. You're welcome. I guess I can make that a little bigger. Oh no, I can't. Oh yeah, I could, but I'm not going to try to figure it out. <laughs> oh my God, the cat is in here. Um, okay, so just don't let the cat smush your painting because oh. apparently that happened to somebody else. Yeah, it does. That was me. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. All right, so there were things that made me want to paint this, and I, I have not made that happen. And that was one thing I just loved was this light coming across, and I don't mm -hmm. see that in my painting. So I want to try to figure that out. But the first thing I'm gonna do this time, I am gonna come back up here and start with the sky and then just work my way down. And that works really well for me because, um, like I said, I definitely have, I already have my snow in, so I can see that, um, oh, I don't know if you can even see my cursor. Can you see my cursor? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so I already have my snow in, so I can, I probably won't make the mistake of making my sky too light compared to my snow. And uh, working from the back forward <clears throat> means that the front layers are on top of the back layers. And um, yeah, and also the sky is bugging me quite a bit. So I just want to start there. Good evening. Yeah. The, the um, one thing, one thing I noticed right off when you first started drawing it is that the sky is much uh, larger than in the photo. Right. The, the, oh. the mountains are closer to the top of the, does that bother you? Oh, it's so funny because I thought I'd gone too far the other way. Um, I mean, yeah. it's not. Okay, we're just going to say that's the deal, but I can't fix it now at this yeah, point. Okay. So, but you're right. Can I ask a question? And you people. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the snow by the barn mm -hmm. in, in your painting looks like it's going up to the top, whereas it's not high at all in the photo. Did I you changed that on purpose. You did that on purpose? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was a little afraid it wouldn't read, you know? Okay. Um, as long as you know what you're doing, Janine. <laughs> I don't always. I can't decide what to do about the lighting. Like I need more, I just turned the lights down, but I need more light to paint by. Let's see, it kind of blows it out. You know, in this room, this entire room I'm in, there is one outlet. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to go yeah. buy some more extension cords or something. Amazing you can do this. It kind of is amazing. Well, you're a techno giant, right? <laughs> That's only because it all worked today and because I figured out workarounds for things that aren't. Yeah, I'm going to just turn the light down because um, and just paint in the dark. 
Maybe if I can. I just can't even see my pastels. That's the biggest problem. Feel that things were different once before. Oh, that's no good. Okay, wait, turn that off, turn this on. I guess that's okay. Let's see what happens if I turn it off all the way. Well, we can see okay. it pretty well with that. It's well, not I was worried that the colors, the colors look incredibly different than what, what, what I oh. see and what you're seeing. Okay. The colors are incredibly different. It just it, the computer adjusts it. I've got to figure out how to make the computer not adjust it. Tell it to be a dumb computer. Mm, dumb you can computer. have mine. No, I bought a new one just for this very activity. And I have to say, it's great. You have a great big monitor. Um, you know, feel free to just chat amongst yourself there. Or if you have any questions, just ask. I don't know. The kind of thing like, you know, it's, I'm really gonna, maybe I'll just, uh, oh, I know what I wanted to say. Also, it's just, if there's anybody has something they would like me to paint, they should tell me. Goats, whatever. Although it's a little frightening to do, think of doing goats or dogs since you guys are doing them so well. <laughs> Sharon told me she's going to do a painting of the photo of Toby I posted this week. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you get to see it first? I don't know. I mean, first dibs if she's... Oh, well, yes. I, I told her I'd buy it. Uh-huh. I, I know I'm going to like it. Have you ever painted Toby? In your class. Oh, okay. <laughs> Years ago at the senior center. Oh, okay. Golly, it's like, don't, I mean, that just is like in some other lifetime now. Yeah. I worry about you guys, but now I'm worrying about me too. Things are so bad here. Are you worrying about us? I do. About why? About the stupid COVID. Oh, COVID. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that. Oh, yeah, that. that. I'm not worried about your painting. I think you're actually doing better in this situation. I mean, you might not be getting that kind of the great socialism, socialism, the great socialism <laughs> we have. <laughs> But um, I feel like you're painting. I feel like people are making a lot of progress. And I think um, it's, you guys are getting really good at critiquing each other's work and your own work. And I, I think getting to hear what everybody has to say is teaching everybody a lot. Um, we might be getting too good at critiquing though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, we could think about maybe changing up the way we critique, but. I have a question wow. before you go low. Okay. When you're dealing with that shadow that you were oh, here? mentioned at the beginning, yeah. Oh, what's but maybe you don't wanna go no, there. Ask me now. Um, well, I noticed that when Grace talked about how you made the foreground, barn the roof is snow all the way up and that was intentional and then the next barn behind it it looks like maybe you made that lower and maybe that was intentional mm -hmm. but it occurs to me that if you have the lower 
roof line, oh, it might yeah, be a lower right. strato. You're right. Jeez. So God, just have to make them work good. together. Ron, you just, eh, she's just too good. That's a really good point. You change one thing and then you don't think about what else gets changed because of that thing you do. That thing you do. Okay, now I'm not working there yet. I got a little excited. Um, also, you know, you guys, I feel like I always have to make the disclaimers about the charcoal lines because um, for one thing, I just, I don't, I, I would come over them. At some point, I will come over them. I just haven't yet. So it's not like I'm leaving them. No, are you the same? Because see, like I need to do something about it right now though, because I can't, I can't even tell if it's the same color or not. Because I'm here in the dark. <laughs> um, let me try this one there. You're doing pretty well for not being able to see. Um, well, it, it's better to have um, your painting in the dark if you have to choose because you'll paint brighter than, than you would have otherwise. Okay, so. So oh. Janine, I really like getting the photos and um, I was like having a really busy social life today. So I was able to actually draw out the photo and I actually did a painting of the photo you sent today. But if you had said it yesterday, I could have yeah. then started again. I didn't have enough time to go back and do another charcoal print and then paint along with you, which I usually do. Okay. And I really like to do that. Yeah, I didn't, I couldn't decide what to do. And so I just decided today that I, I will do better with that. If somebody would give me some suggestions, like that would be great. Well, how about some, how about some night urban scenes? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because all we have is dark. We got to love the dark. Okay, I've never painted a night urban scene. But how about you? I bet you have some of Italy. I was going the to- The piazzas at night. I do. I might have to draw them ahead of time, you guys. They take a long time to draw. Oh, I see or, what you mean. I guess I could work on it more than once, too. More than once. Yeah. Time. Italy does an amazing job. Well, I mean, not that I've been there many times lately, but um, when we went, the, especially in the touristy areas, they did an amazing job lighting up the city in a way that brought out the buildings. And I bet you have some yeah, great photos of Italy. But it, doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be in the dark. No, but it would go with Michelle's request. You know, Janine, the I have a picture which I showed you once of New York, uh, a street in New York, in the rain, and people have umbrellas, and the the uh, water on the street, and all the the lights sort of have a long reflection. Yeah. If I sent you that, I mean, you don't have to do it, but I that I'd would be worth it. Consider it if you send it to me. I'll definitely consider it. Okay. Holy cow. Well, it's well much my better. barn looks like it's falling down inside into itself. <laughs> my barn. Oh, looks you're like talking about it's... yours? Well, do you want to send me a picture? No, it's, oh, it's okay. just... Well, it's getting kind of late in the... I think I yeah, probably yeah. would have to work on this one again, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I like it when you keep working. That's I good. do too. Mm -hmm. I do too. I spend a lot of time trying to correct what I'm doing. <laughs> trying to correct what you're doing? Yeah. Very true. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Where was your drawing? I'm sure I put the oh. drawing in the slideshow. No, you don't need to show it. It's so awful. But anyway, <sighs> I, I okay. laugh because. I'm pretty sure it's in there somewhere. I must have somehow, I definitely meant to. And besides, I didn't think it was that bad. Well, the thing I learned about it, Janine, too, two things. One, I should use a much bigger piece of paper and just have done his face 
And of course I drew it in this, it's like an eight by 11 piece of paper horizontal. And I made his face about six inches tall. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Did you, the photograph you sent me did not show like his arm and the coffee cup and all that stuff. Did you try to make all that up? No, no, I cropped it. It's in the photo. I should show you the whole photo. It's an interesting photo. I just yeah, I snapped the whole it. photo because okay. in those cases, like there was sort of anatomical problems. Um, yes. And I thought maybe that was because you tried to make it up, you know, um, nah. but you didn't have that all in the photograph. Remember me saying that to you? It's probably too light. Yeah. Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> okay, I don't like this. <laughs> she must be talking to me. She didn't know. Edie, were you talking no, to her? No, no, no. I <laughs> I was talking to an email. Sorry. Sorry about that. I I okay, now we know done. what you're really doing right there. That's okay. I was looking at my email while we were going through the slides. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. All is forgiven. Um, so, Grace, I was just really worried that this was not going to, I wasn't going to be able to make any sense of that snow. But now I'm kind of worried I'm not making any sense of the snow on the roof anyway. So, I don't know. Well, I don't think you have half I, of the. I, I don't think you have to segment that roof with snow versus no snow. Okay, good. But the next, the next building up, the next roof up has some distinct. I know. I don't portions. know what's going on up there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up. I can't even tell. Oh, maybe it's a. Oh, it's no. a. It's a hip roof. Yeah. The top is at a different angle from the from the bottom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I tried to draw that. That was hard. It wasn't the it wasn't the roof snow I was talking about. It was the snow at the bottom of the building. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what. The, oh, like right in front of the building, like. Yeah, it's like very right here. It's, yeah, it's it's a it's a straight line there, and you have it going up like it's about to take over the building. Oh, these things have there, there is a hump, but not here. The humps, oh. the humps here, not here, right, Grace? Well, there's one right at the back corner of the building. There's a hump, but it goes down on both sides. So if you never mind, it's fine the way it is. It's just different from the photo. If you put if you put those windows in now, they'd be the snow would be up to them. Oh. Well, you know I mean? well, sometimes it is. Well, I'm saying it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fix different. It. We like different. Do you guys have any snow? Not much. Not Not much. Scary, isn't it? We're going to get some this weekend, possibly. Yeah, well, that's what they said this past Maybe week. We too. Yeah, that's true, Grace. It is a little scary. As well as depressing. Yeah. Well, they said this was the hottest summer they'd ever had in Rhode Island, uh, which I can well believe it was so hot. And yeah. uh, hottest year, sorry, Jim, just corrected me. It was so hot this summer and it has been it was 50 degrees one day this week yeah wow well we have gotten into real cold right now you haven't it was, it was below yeah. 10. oh yeah it's, it's cold 10. now it's below 10 this morning it's pretty yeah. cold <clears throat> this is the coldest it's been here and i think it's 28. yeah <clears throat> We're going to zero tonight. Oh, that's... Well, Houston actually had freezing temperatures yesterday. After there were 18 
days in December where it was over 80 degrees. <gasps> oh. Yeah, That's and then it, right? then it dropped 50 degrees in one day. Is is oh, that a is that a record, Mary? Yeah, it's a record. They never had that many before. So it's incredible. It broke all kinds of records all month for for record highs. So Janine, are you gonna are you gonna be working on this one again next week? I think I have to. If you, I mean, I don't have to, but if you want me to, I will. Yes. Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. That's a serious yeah. problem. I'm really curious about the yellow. What's going to happen with that? This. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just see what we can figure out right this way. Oh, look, it's happening. <laughs> Before our very eyes. Yeah. Oh, so you're doing the background versus the branches. I mean, that's oh. what I was trying to do here. Huh. Huh, I would have thought you'd do just the opposite. Well, I, if I'd started it darker, I could have. But I didn't. Okay. So. Yep. Yeah, so not too much. So I'm just using charcoal at the moment. But I might, I already might have to spray it again. It's the thing I hate about winter, and that thing is branches. Is what? Branches. Branches. Oh, branches. <laughs> branches. I love to look at them, but they are a kind of a challenge, huh? Yeah, they kind of are. <clears throat> they need some pink. Yeah, they do. So I have now been coloring for four months. Coloring. Coloring. I know. Yeah. And I, if I ever got had something that just looked like where you are right now, I would just jump up and down for joy. <laughs> well, I'm about to have a like nervous breakdown with how bad it looks. So you see. Oh, gee. Well, then see, it shows you the perspective four months in. It's I, the tyranny you know, of rising expectations, as they say. It, Really? I don't know. Yeah, but you also haven't stepped back and look at it, I bet, the way no, you tell me. I haven't. I've been glued to Exactly. Head. I'm loving it. Thank you. The way the blues in the foreground are shining, it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks. I, I yeah. like your stuff. Un I mean, sort of half finished too. I yeah. love the, mm -hmm. the, the, way yeah. the colors. The, the way and... the colors blend in there just to the right of the Yep. All that, those layers of color. Yep. Yeah. Luscious. Well, thanks. Yeah, you don't and know. That what you're actually does look like the sunshine. <laughs> what? what? It looks like sunshine on those branches. Good. Well, that's what it's supposed to look like. But I think I have to, I would have to still put in more darks behind. Yeah. Maybe I should have done that, but I. Uh, started, you know, with the dark and come lighter, but I was just kind of obsessed with that light was the thing that attracted me. So, oh, I think what's fascinating the way you did it. Okay. All righty. <laughs> <laughs>